Let's take a quick look at just how quickly we can create a turned part and the cam for that lathe part in Fusion 360. Welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. This is the part that we made for the Halloween Wednesday widget today. Let's dive right in. Keyboard shortcuts, folks. L for line. We're going to sketch along the Z axis. That's what's going to usually is going to make sense for lathe work. So click here. And I'm just going to rough profile the shape here with an angle down and over. D for dimension. I'm going to click on this line and I'm going to call that a 0.42 radius here, 0.48 radius, and this one inch long. I'm all done with my sketch. Go to create, revolve. You see this window pops up here. Profile, click here once, click on the axis here, and click on that, and we have our part. It's that easy. Go from model to cam. First thing we'll do is set up our job. So click setup, and you'll usually have to change it to turning, uh, and then in this instance, we're going to have the z-axis on the other side. So you can click flip z-axis, and we will then edit our stock. I'm going to I actually did turn this out of a one inch piece, but let's show some more tool paths. So we're going to go to a 1.25 inch piece and we're going to add some stock to the front. So we'll say it's 1.1 inch long and now you can see that. Otherwise we're good. Click OK. And it's really simple folks. Turning will face it first. This is what I love about lathe is because so much of your work is held in either a chuck or a collet, the fixturing is sort of self-evident. It's quite simple. So it's so much easier to create complex shapes. That's one reason why I've had the Tormach lathe for a while now, but I haven't done as much with it because I didn't like any of the cam out there. And uh, Fusion is uh, still a work in progress on this, but really excited for it. So we'll choose a tool. I'm just going to choose the default tool for now. Click OK. And that's all you've got to do to create a facing hop, which is, which is awesome. We'll go into details in videos later on adjusting all these specific parameters. The next thing we do is want to profile it. So turning profile, it picks up that same tool, which is fine. We will honestly, we'll just click OK and see what we get. And it looks fine. Now, a couple of things I've noticed here, if we simulate it, you'll see as well is, oops, there we go. I've got the, um, flute only showing instead of the whole thing. Here, I'll switch it back. So I don't like those little scallop cut or type cuts there, and I don't like the fact that we're leaving some on the back side. So let's fix that. Pretty simple. We'll right click on profile, and by choosing rest machining, that's going to recognize that we faced it, and it gets rid of that stuff on the front side. Easy, perfect. To, to extend along the back side, similar we're just going to check confinement, which is sort of a misnomer because we're actually doing the opposite of confining it. And what we're going to do is add 0.05 backside offset. And if we take a look, now you can see it extends our toolpath about 0.5 inches along the backside. We'll go ahead and re-simulate. Why, why, there we go. Face it off. First cut. Second cut. Third, I love it. And then a cleanup. And, well, actually, you're not done. Let's part it off. Super easy. Turning, part, select the tool. Again, we'll get into a lot of the tooling specifics later. And <laughs> done. How easy is that? Now, here's the thing that's frustrating. I'll show you some footage right now of us making this part. We couldn't use Fusion 360 because we've got a turret lathe, and right now I've got a glitch. It's, I think it's pretty minor, but in it's, I'm certainly bummed. Um, but we had to use HSM with the lathe plugin, which is actually really like the same cam engine. So I know it won't take much for the folks over at Autodesk to fix it, but um, so we weren't able to, just being totally honest, create the G code out of this part. But all the processes were the same that we did in Fusion. In, HSM, it literally is just an option of throwing the tool on the back side as you, uh, as you use a turret. So that's a quickie on Fusion 360 lathe. More to come, folks. 
Uh, as always, I appreciate the comments, likes, thumbs up, shares. Happy Halloween, and take care. See you soon. Thank you.